Hello guys and welcome back to a new video. Today I'm right here in Switzerland at Parisi Automobile. I will leave the link in the description if you want to check them out. They have great service, great price. Uh, and I have with me the new Hyundai E10 N line and I will do the review as usually guys interior exterior I try to show you every single detail as in every video uh, you will see the price you will see the technical details and of course the space and all that stuff uh, if you want to see the test drive subscribe to my channel and yeah let's start it guys here is the key it's a normal key from Hyundai nothing special uh, but also you can lock and unlock the trunk from the button here other than that it's just a simple key now let's go inside let me talk a little bit about the technical details guys I want to talk a little bit about the technical details first time before we start the video and I want to show you right here that this model right here it comes with one liter TGDI uh, petrol engine and we have five manual speed gearbox it comes of course with the N-Line exclusive pack and N-Line looks pack metallic color and the price of this car you can see it right here 22,800 francs uh, also you have a discount guys normally the price is much more bigger but you have a discount 1,500 francs uh, if you come at Parisi Automobile here in Switzerland so yeah anyway guys we will go inside here you have also all other options that we will go through in the video by the way the car have 100 horsepower and 172 newton meters pretty cool this is the manual gear shifter look how nice it is guys i love it i love this shape um really like this gear shifter and when you go reverse you have to, to pull it like that I really am a big fan of this gear shifter level uh, it's super super nice and yeah press the brake by the way I was I was expect to have a start engine button but you have to do it in a classic way just like that put the contact oh, come on put the contact press the and then put it in normal right here just like that then the car come also with manual um, adjustable seats of course we have to adjust it manually from here press the brake put it in reverse and then the car come also with the reverse camera you can see right there and what impressed me the most is that the quality of the camera it's pretty good the resolution of the camera it's quite impressive I like it very much quite quite impressive very good quality and I remember I had a car I had a Hyundai e20 before and it was so nice I miss it to be honest also uh, the car doesn't come with um, LED light on the on the high bin or low bin it's just a normal bulb light I will show you in the moment we will go uh, a little bit forward and I will show you I like the way it feels as you drive it it's a very light steering wheel so it's super easy to drive it in the city for example and also guys I like this new multimedia system I also noticed that it's for the first time when I see the car and I like it I like the way they integrate uh, the multimedia system with the the dashboard here it's quite nice let me park the car here and let me make the review guys let's make it and I will give you all the information about the car also I noticed that the heating inside the car manual handbrake the car come with a manual handbrake I like that as well um, pretty cool for a sporty small car like that plenty of space down here two cup holders you can see a lot of space here also it comes with this armrest here I like that um, quite nice you can put it up and down and then the car come also with a space here where you can put your phone for example even big phones you can charge it wireless for example 
and that's awesome and even a big phone i think it's it's come there let me try my samsung s10 so you can see even a huge phone can be charged wireless right there without any problem so i like that uh other than that let me go forward the car have usb port one usb port 112 volt port here awesome awesome and useful then you have heated seat that's awesome heated steering wheel oh my god i didn't expect that uh and then those are the start stop engine button and those are the parking sensors so that's awesome also the car come with a new climatic system from hyundai i love this one here it's so cool and also you can adjust it from here the way you want the vents i like it very much and also the quality of the buttons of the touch and it's just perfectly then the vents are awesome also i like the quality even when you play with them the quality is quite good they are smooth smooth and nice then going up a little bit here is the multimedia system yeah, with navigation and all that stuff it's very well integrated here as i noticed for the moment the resolution is great uh, and you have these shortcut buttons right here of course the navigation is not installed because it's a new new brand new car uh, usually it should be here on the shortcut uh, buttons then you have the radio yes this is the new multimedia system guys that hyundai use it also on the bigger cars i love this this multimedia system one of the best and here is the settings you go to settings and you have here the navigation you have here the settings for example you can change even the language let me change the language so you can see a little bit better um, also i like the ambient light behind the buttons here blue nice ambient light then you have here the date and time you can have the the keyboard change screensaver system information here you have all the information about the system going back you have the phone connection you can connect your phone of course android auto and upper carplay through the cable guys you can connect it through the cables without any problem so that's awesome and also bluetooth of course um, as expected you can have all your phone right here on the screen and this is all you need to be honest all you need a great screen and this car has a great screen great resolution and to be able to connect your phone this is all you need these days um, you don't need all that other um, stuff but it's great to have it extra here you can see uh, the sound equalizer and all that stuff information the media settings here and then you have also another page with display and voice recognize well cool huh what do you think guys here's the home screen the map navigation telephone blue link oh man really you have blue link on this new hyundai e10 n wow impressive so you can connect your car even to the application so you can see where the car is and you can also um, see different information about the car so that's quite impressive anyway that's the multimedia system i'm done with it uh, also i'm really curious to see the navigation navigation if it's the last one it's just phenomenal now look how nice is the ambient light in the car the visibility from the driver's side it's awesome uh, you have a great visibility the cockpit is the classic one i wish it was the new digital cockpit but still you can change the different settings there you can see the different information i think you already see it in my other videos i don't have to go too much into detail you can control everything from those buttons right here on the steering wheel it's super simple also on the other side you have these controllers where you can control the music and different modes the steering wheel it's gorgeous i love it it's the end steering wheel you can see that you have the end line here you have the red stitches the, the grip it's great you have leather and very good quality on the grip uh, and i like it very much as well um, then going forward of course you can adjust it manually from down there in every position you want you can adjust the steering wheel okay and then uh yeah i think i show you almost everything here in the middle here i like this extra storage space guys i like it very much uh that 
this um, th that Hyundai bring this space here I see it also in Toyota Yaris two spaces here and also Hyundai bring it in E10 and I like it very much it's a big space and it's gorgeous and then you have also this huge glow box that I like it I think it's the best glow box in the class and you have also an LED light there so this is quite premium plenty of space here great job Hyundai I like that then you have the vents look at the vents they are super fancy super fancy the dashboard is fancy I like those design here it's very nice and I like the way they integrate this glossy plastic with with multimedia system and the way they make it it's, it's in a big way and here on the other side on the driver's side you have the same vents super super nice I like them, I like them. The design, it's nice. Visibility around the windows, it is very, very good. In my opinion, you have an amazing visibility, guys. You don't have to worry in terms of visibility around the windows. It's perfect. Now, up here, you have a microphone on the roof. Then you have some lights here, normal bulb light, no, uh, no LED, nothing fancy. Huge mirror, I like this mirror, it's so big. And you have a good visibility in the back there. Uh, then up here you have a big mirror no light but you have a huge mirror here so you can see yourself without any problem there um, other than that guys inside the car um, I'm almost done I want to show you the door and I want to show you also the seats and before we go there check this out guys you have also the buttons here for lane assist and you can turn off the traction control and the different position for the lights uh, aluminum pedals by the way the car come with aluminum pedals that's awesome and manual adjustable seats you, you have to adjust your seats manually from here but you have many position to adjust it so that's great and check them out guys look at the seats no leather just fabric material but they look in a big way they look really beautiful you can see also the end logo right there the red stitches look super super nice i like the side support side support and logo here look pretty pretty nice and also those red stitches look in a big way i don't know about you but i like them very much and also the dashboard you can see it from this position it's a big improvement from the previous version a big big improvement now here on the doors huge window great visibility guys also the design of the doors it's super super nice the same as on the dashboard here the same triangles I don't know how to call them but they are nice then you have the handle in gray glossy super nice and unique then you have uh, plastic on the upper side but the design of the door is quite quite nice handle then you have here the buttons, electric buttons, electric windows everywhere, electric mirror adjustable. Then you have plenty of storage space and then you have the speaker right here with a nice, nice design on the speaker as well. So that's the door, okay? Not so many soft materials, but the design is super beautiful. It looks very, very nice. I love it. For a small car like this, for this price, I think it's, it's just perfect. The handle, it's also nice and simple and it has a nice aerodynamic design, pretty beautiful. Um, also, I think if we are inside, let's go inside, let's finish with the interior in the back. Uh, now, here guys, also we have a big window from two piece. Uh, in this way, you can fold this window all the way down, so that's, that's pretty good. Other than that, here again, the same as in the front, same uh, plastic as in the front, but beautiful design here nice handles handle button for the windows a speaker and some storage space right here in the door uh, beautiful design I like the way they designed the door huge entrance to be honest for a small car it's a huge entrance right here in the car check out the seats the same 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 quality as in the front same red stitches they look nice simple nothing fancy but they are quite okay so they are also comfortable that's important you have two isofix you can install two isofix for kids you don't have a center armrest here maybe that's a downside for some people but in this class you don't expect to have there now going inside the car let me close the door i like the sound of the doors you can hear it 
it's quite nice the quality the quality it's impressive the visibility on the windows it is very good because of the shape of the window i have a very good visibility also you have a hook up here then check out the seat space here guys plenty of space on my knees the seat it's kind of in my driving position and also the passenger seat it's a little bit more in the back so yeah something just to make an idea plenty of space on my knees i can stretch my legs a little bit under the front seat that's good that you have that space under there then on my head i have four five fingers no problem in terms of space as i expected i have no problem and also the the quality and the design the comfort it's super good it feels really nice here not bad for a small car Pooh, it's good it's good that's it it's good here no center tunnel transmission tunnel so i can stay with my legs together here so you can see the space here four or five fingers no problem i can stay however i want that's good thing and the space in the middle also five fingers it's very good great job stretch my hand maybe not too much but actually impressive it's quite wide I didn't expect that this E10 to be so wide. It's impressive. I mean, even three people can stay here for long trips. Quite impressive. Great job, Hyundai. I like it. I really like it. I really like it. It's great. Also in the front, I think you already see it. I'm showing you again a short shot. Not bad. The design of the dashboard is super, super nice. Let me go outside. Going outside, it's super easy. You have a huge uh entrance in the in the car so that from this point of view it's awesome um here on the left side you have the tank i'm not going to open it it's simple but it's on the left side that's something to keep in mind i like the fact that they make the car from two colors the roof it's in black i like it the roof spoiler it's in black black glossy plastic everywhere that look always good i mean glossy plastic black it looks always good wherever combination you choose it looks amazing the roof spoiler it looks also super nice super super nice uh, led light on the brake light you have e10 in red logo here on the both sides that's nice around the windows you have kind of a rubber black rubber uh, color you have tinted windows in the back in this price that's awesome and then you have the other color for example right now we have a blue uh, and you can see it on this color i like it i think they choose really well because you can see those lines lines around the car look super beautiful it's a really spectacular car in terms of lines and shapes and hyundai hyundai make it really good i like very much the design i like the lines i like the shapes I like also this LED daylights in the front, the grille, it's super super nice, one of my favorite part on the car um, and if you look from the side you can see a little bit better the lines. Also something that I like very much on the car, on this E10N, I like those rims, look at the rims, they are super super nice, super nice, I love the rims now check this out here on the both side you have the n-line logo then the mirrors are in black glossy plastic and by the way guys i was almost forget let's turn on the turning signal so now you can make an idea about the lights i think it comes with blind spot technology but it didn't but huge mirrors i mean you have a big mirror great visibility then you can see even here on the mirrors you have led light that's a great plus for the car and the design of the mirrors it's premium i mean it looks great you can use it also on the more more bigger and expensive cars then look at the hood look at those lines here i love those lines i love the way they design those lines the, the lines on the hood look also super nice and super aggressive and make the car super sportier look at the lights they are not LED lights, they are xenon lights, but they are quite good and they look also good. 
zoom in a little bit so you can see better the front grille the LED lights the design of the car pretty spectacular what do you think guys what do you think the grill look at the grill with this daylight they look so nice the daylight here the grill it's nice you have the N line logo here on the side beautiful beautiful design in glossy plastic and on the other side here you have some red insertion right here I like them very much three lines insertion they look super super nice and then down there they use a little bit of red down here on the bumper uh, also here you have the fog lamps a little bit of chrome design glossy plastic beautiful beautiful elements here i like it what do you think guys about the front i like it very much i like the way they design it also i like this line here i don't know what they think when they make this line but i think it's really interesting you can see it around the edges of the of the wheels it looks quite quite nice other than that let's go in the back to see the light check this out led light only on the tail light the blinkers are normal bulb light uh, but other than that pretty simple pretty nice pretty clean design and quite interesting i like it also let's go forward hyundai on the left side we have some lines here to away from left to right i like it e10 logo here you have the reverse camera the handle to open the trunk i will show you the trunk in a second then you have normal lights on the number plate so no led you can change it if you want then you have the reverse light here on this side and on the other side you have the fog lamp when you need it you can use it and other than that you have free parking sensors in the back uh, in the front you don't have parking sensors but in the back you have free parking sensors you have an air diffuser down here glossy plastic with some red red also glossy i like it i like the way it looks and this air diffuser probably just for design and then we have two exhaust pipes real one and you can hear a little bit of sportiness it's the inside this engine a little bit of sportiness a little bit of aggressive uh, stay inside there let's go to the rims one of my favorite part check them out they are super super beautiful I love the design also in the front braking discs you can see the braking discs I think they are ventilated if I'm not wrong ventilated brake discs and also in the back we have brake discs okay check them out guys so no drums like we see in other cars just braking discs on the both sides and they look quite good they look super super good you should decide comment tell me what you think about them but overall design of the car it looks great only two things i have to show you the trunk of the car and the engine and then we will end up this video let me go inside the trunk for sam i will open up the trunk and then i will show you the space here wow it's a pretty light door i don't know I don't think it's made from aluminium because aluminium it's more expensive to use but it's very light i like that the entrance in the car up here you have some handles and then you have a huge entrance for a small car like that wow the entrance is quite big quite impressive i didn't expect that it's a really really big entrance then you have this protection for the trunk that you can take it out in just one second i will take it out for a second put it on the side and let me show you the trunk the entrance it is big super impressive big big entrance and you can carry even big items here you have some plastic like three four five centimeter deepness here a normal light some hooks and then on the other side you have some storage space here another hook under the floor you have a huge deep space with the repair kit and all the other uh, stuff 
that you need you can put here a lot of stuff i'm quite impressed with the space down there really impressed now guys that's the trunk the entrance it's it's quite big and i think for a small car like that it's it's quite impressive it's quite quite impressive let me fold down the seat just like that super simple 60 40 you can fold down the seats and you have a flat floor check this out a flat floor plenty of space in my opinion you can carry fridge without problem wash machine fridge uh, mobile part no problem they all stick here inside they will all go inside without any problem you can decide yourself but i'm sure i'm sure it's a very successful design big entrance here on the side as well check this out check the space out huge huge space also on the legs room it's amazing space no center transmission tunnel stuff like that i love it until now guys i love the car let me put everything back you put everything back no time in one second everything is in the perfect position close it uh, and let me show you the engine i think this is the last part and then we will kind of um, end up this video guys here's the engine and then we will close up this video one liter petrol engine 100 horsepower and yeah i guess that was the video guys i hope you really enjoy it i hope it was helpful this video for you uh if you want to see the test drive with this new e10n uh subscribe to my channel to see when the video will be uploaded also thank you for watching i hope it was helpful for you guys um if you want to see more and more uh new cars uh videos subscribe to my channel um uh, i think that was all guys i like very much uh the car i think it's a great buy for the price uh, a lot of cool feature a lot of nice design and overall it's a great car it's a great buy if you're in the market for a small car like this i think this is between the best i think in the first five for sure first three i should say it's an amazing amazing small car thank you for watching uh, i wait you soon in the next video guys if you like the music link in the description um, yeah i guess i see you soon in the next one bye guys Thank you.